but you, I think, have got to really be a flexible leader if you're going to be an effective leader. I walked into the locker room after the first half of our game with Spain in 1984 for the gold medal. We're ahead by 29 points. We played basketball as well as the game can be played. Michael Jordan has played 12 minutes out of the 20. He has 11 rebounds, 9 assists, and 19 points in 12 minutes. In my opinion, there's nobody that's ever played anything that can compare to Michael Jordan with the possible exception of Jack Nicklaus and Babe Ruth. Michael Jordan is just the best there ever was at what he does by a considerable margin. So I'm walking across the floor with this 29-point lead as I look at the scoreboard, and I'm a great believer in the best three minutes of the game for us has got to be the first three minutes of the second half. But what the hell am I going to say? Hey, we got to get better. We're 29 points ahead. we got to win by 59. These kids are going to be a little bit satisfied with themselves. They know how well they've played. And when I get to the locker room, I still haven't come up with an answer. I open the door, and the first guy I see is Jordan sitting in front of his locker. Idea light flies, and I say to myself, I'm going to get on Jordan's ass a little bit. And everybody else is going to say, God, if he's upset with Jordan, how's he feel about me? 12 minutes, 19 points, 11 rebounds, 9 assists, and I have the stat sheet in my hand, and I walk over in front of Jordan, and I look down at him and I say, Mike, when the hell are you going to set a screen? We got four guys out there screening when you're in the game, screening to get you open, screening to get each other open, haven't seen you set a screen yet. The only way I get all five guys screening, Mike, is to get you the hell out of the game. Now, when are you going to set a screen? All you've been doing so far, goddammit, is rebounding, passing, and scoring. You need to screen, Mike. Now, Jordan, you've all seen the grin. I mean, it's the greatest grin in the world. Doesn't quite use all of his grin in this circumstance. But he looks up at me and he grins a little bit and he says, Coach, didn't I see last week where you said I was the quickest player you'd ever been around? I said, Mike, what the hell has that got to do with you screening? Coach, I think I'm setting them quicker than you can see them out there. <laughs> Well, I was flexible enough to look at Jordan and say, then, God damn it, slow him down a little bit so I can see him. <laughs> <laughs>